<coughs> I'm now going to turn to a, a completely different area now, and, and I've got you thinking enough for the time being. So, uh, so let, let, let's look at some magic squares. Uh, first of all, um, you've got the low shoe magic square. This, this originated sometime, not quite sure when. Um, it's, it's not really known. It's somewhere between 200 and 1200 BC. The emperor Yu uh, was bathing, and he suddenly saw this turtle come out with a magic square on it on its back, uh, as, you, as you can see a, a p the picture here. A magic square is an arrangement of numbers so that numbers in each row and each column and the two main diagonals t come to the same thing. So if you add all those up, you get 15 in each case. Uh, and this turned out to have quite religious significance for them. They, 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 they attached a religious significance to this particular arrangement. And this leads, leads to the problem, of course, can you construct bigger uh, magic squares? I'm sure that many of you are familiar with Dürer's Melancholia, um, where you've got probably Dürer himself looking at these geometry um, objects and looking rather miserable for some reason. Um, but at the back, you can see a magic square with the numbers from 1 to 16, uh, all so that the, you know, the rows and columns and probably the diagonals add up to the same thing. So you can get four by four ones. Here's one found in China in Xi'an on an iron plate. In fact, it's an Arabic magic square uh, with the numbers from 1 to 36, again with the properties of adding rows and columns. Uh, I haven't checked the diagonals. So the game was on to try and construct larger and larger magic squares, or magic squares with more and more interesting <coughs> properties. Here's a rather nice one constructed in China in 1275. It's a 9x9 nine nine one. Okay, they, they got as large as 9x9. Nine nine. But the interesting thing is that you can actually break it up Sudoku-wise into nine 3x3 three three blocks, and each of these separately is a magic square. So this has all the numbers from 1 to 81 arranged in a magic square, but each of the, the little ones is itself a magic square. <coughs> and if you think that's clever, uh, about th 300 years before that, there was this magic square um, that I'm, I'm showing you here. This is a 15 by 15. It has all the numbers from 1 to 225. And, and what he did was the middle is a 3x3 three three magic square. And then you put a board around it, giving a 5x5 five five one, and a 7x7 and a seven seven one, 9x9, nine 11x11, nine, 11 11, 13 by, um, and 15x15. 15 15. Those are all magic squares. Okay. And you might wonder what that diamond's doing there. Well, it has the extra property that everything inside the diamond is an odd number, and everything outside the diamond is an even number. <laughs> So there we are. <laughs> but the cleverest of all, I think, is, is, is Benjamin Franklin, uh, who, when he wasn't being a traitor, uh, he, was, uh, he, he was doing useful things like constructing magic squares. Okay? Uh, and uh, so here's, here's one of his magic squares. Um, it's, a, it's, um, it's 16 by 16, all the numbers up to 256. And so the sum of any row or any column is the same. It's 2,056. It's so arranged that if you add any half row or any half column, that, that's half the sum, um, and you get 1,028. Uh, the sum of the four corners and the four central squares is 1,028. And you've got lots of other things which are 1,028. And in fact, um, if you take any 4x4 four four block... Okay, like that one there. Those numbers add up to 2056. And so do these. And so do these. And so do these. I think that's amazing. And, and he spent quite a bit of time constructing these things. 